Hey everyone. Welcome back to Far Cry Primal. I guarantee you I've heard it. If you'd like to find out what the hell happened last time, go back and watch those episodes. Oh lord. For whatever reason, I've switched to keyboard and mouse. And sensitivity is far too low. The, the controls are pretty similar to Far Cry 3. So that shouldn't be a problem. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me, everyone. Oh, brother. There we go. Rescue at least two captives. So I can just save two lives and then be like, all right, the rest of you are going to die and I'm okay with that. This is a bad... This is bad. I don't actually know any of my buttons. I just realized. Oh god. I didn't do any of the fucking tutorials. Oh, this is stupid. Uh-oh. All right, there's one of you. I love the icon for run away. That's pretty good. Oh, that counts. Cool. Lucky me, I guess. How do I heal my bear? I love Elias effects, don't get me wrong. But man, he really only kind of does have the one voice. Cool. Now, I will admit, I've slipped a little bit on what exactly I was doing. Lucky skin, didn't I need that? It's been like a month since I recorded, no big deal. Okay, I just need to know how to how to pause. Oh god. See, in addition to forgetting all my controls from the other from the other game, I also did uh kinda forget everything. Like all my buttons. Okay, it's JKL. Now what was I working towards? Uh, 
Probably health. Oh. Perfect. Then I just need saber desires. Now, does it show me my current quest? All right, cool. We just gotta hustle across the world. So yeah, um, I haven't recorded anything in a while. Been going through about a personal strife, and also I've been rewatching Evangelion, which does not help. The anime Neon Genesis Evangelion. I'm aware that that isn't how most people pronounce it, but that's how um, Robin Williams pronounced it. So I've decided to rock with that. And no one can stop me now. This is on the internet forever. Unless, you know, it isn't. What the fuck? Alright, we're gonna quick travel just because I've realized how long this is actually gonna take. We're on our way. Uh, as I'm recording this, um, good old Marathon is finally coming out, and it's doing very well, and I'm very overjoyed. Uh, I didn't know that the Marathon community was that cool and supportive, though I should have figured. <laughs> Yoink. So yeah, my LPs now have a chance to be seen by people and stuff. I've almost uh, hit triple digits for subscribers. I still get this like thrill. This is probably bad of me. But I still get this thrill of like seeing someone who is an active content producer and I have more subs than them or more videos or more views and I'm like, yes. It's so petty of me. Is that an Omega? Hey, this is quicker, isn't it? And we just got to loot him, right? Totem nose. Nice. So I could have done that all sneaky and cool like, but uh didn't really need to. Thing about being caveman is that tactics kind of break down at some points. Where's this dude at? There they are. Nice. Oh, man. Hoping I can hit him. Wait, Tiger. 
Burning bright. What's the take, man? A friend of mine uh, actually mentioned that they wanted to see me play this. And she's not normally one who watches my LPs as far as I know. So hey, kid, if you're watching. Good. But also, I hope that this game is everything that you thought it was. It, it kind of is everything I thought that it would be. Because I was like, look, I want a dope fucking caveman game where you play as a caveman and hit things with a stick. That's exactly what I got. I'm very pleased with the game that I'm playing. Though I will say, it is just a lie to fix scam. <laughs> like, his voice is great, but it was a good decision to replace him as Jason Brody. Because I already can barely separate Takar, the ancient, you know, 14,000 years ago beastman. And, uh, oh, wow. That was a good one. Gotcha. Yeah, I can barely separate Takar, the Beastman, Beastmaster, and uh, Adam Jensen. They are, they may as well be the same character for me. Though I find it amusing that um, despite the fact that Adam Jensen lives in the future and has guns, he's part robot, you know, more machine than man and all that shit. It really cracks me up that Takar is the more deadly of the two. I've actually been meaning to play uh, Human Revolution. Maybe the original Deus Ex as well, because um, I actually did play a lot of that game. Um, being an old PC game, it could run on my crappy PC. Uh, my first computer could run Deus Ex because it had come out like, what, six years after the game had? So it was a pretty safe bet to say, yes, this non-gaming PC can run this video game. Don't come back now. You hear? Uh, the other thing is it was cheap. I still do now, but I used to be very, very, like sale or free game oriented um and now i'm more willing to spend money on games which i'm glad about but i also am glad to show off like cool examples of cheap games uh, a lot of the roguelike i played were uh, free and or cheap loot it just in case. Yeah, there we go. I will say, Takar is a lot tougher, stronger, more powerful, and cooler than Adam Jensen. But there is one thing that Mr. Jensen has that Takar does not, and that is the Icarus landing system. Jensen can fucking land like nobody's business, but Takar... No chance. But yeah, um... My lovely wife, Sarah, is a huge fan of... Uh, Metal Gear, but does not like Deus Ex, despite the fact that they're basically the same game. And I say that as a huge fan of both. I do like Metal Gear more, but part of that is just because there are more Metal Gear games. There's only three Deus Ex games. No, we're not talking about that one. Whoops. But yeah, we're not talking about that one. We're also not talking about that other one. And for those who don't know, um, 
The original Deus Ex came out in the early 2000s, and it's very good. It's made by a company called Ion Storm, which is actually the remnants of uh, id, the people who made Doom. And Lord knows I love Doom. Uh, the other remnants of Doom went on to make uh, Daikatana, which is thought of as the worst first-person shooter of all time, and one of the worst games of all time, so... You know, draw your conclusions about which half of the company went to the good place. Because one of them made Deus Ex, which is um, huge in PC gaming circles. Uh, it's less of a big deal in console gamers, but like for PC, that's thought of as one of the best games uh, ever. Up there with like Half-Life 2 and Diablo 2 as well. A lot of good 2s. God, like, a couple of, like, three arrows just landed next to me, and it was more exhilarating to me than, like, a brace of machine gun fire. Like, it would have, it would have been less cool if there were ten guys with machine guns. I much preferred four guys with bows and arrows. Well, three guys with a bow and arrow, and then one guy with a stick. So fucking cool. Anyway, Deus Ex got a really crappy sequel called Deus Ex Invisible War. Um, that is, it's honestly not bad, but the thing is, considering that the first game is one of the best games of all time, the second game has to be an adequate follow-up to that, you know? Uh, it isn't. And I feel like that makes people treat it unfairly. It isn't good, but like, it's not the worst. It just, you know, compared to the best, it's a... Well, it isn't fair, is all. <laughs> Following that, um, there was a drought of Deus Ex things where about nothing happened. And then finally there was one of those, like, reboots. Uh, it's, a, it's a concept called Soft Reboot, where it may as well be a reboot, but it doesn't actually decanonize anything. Uh, the new God of War, God of War 4, is like that. Because you can go into... Because it's, it's like completely fresh. It's like a new game. It's like nothing else. And you can go in, you know, not knowing the other games. It's just that because the other games are still canon, your experience is much... You know, it's vastly improved because of that. Going in with the other ones. And so Deus Ex got a soft reboot. Um in the form of Deus Ex Human Revolution. And a lot of people consider that to be an adequate uh, successor. Uh, let's get the health first. Um, that game also got a couple of spin-off comics, and I want to say a book, like a, a regular like prose book. That was the bear, wasn't it? That guy got it pretty rough. Arrow shot him, and then a bear just landed right in him. Um, Human Revolution also got an excellent uh, DLC that in the Game of the Year edition was actually put into the main game, and I think that that ruins it, because the DLC is great for being its own localized thing. Um, and putting it in the game not only changes the flow of the game, but also destabilizes the XP gain. Um, and then that game has a direct sequel where you play as the same guy. Normally, you play as different characters in the three or four mission games called Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It's not as good, but it is still pretty damn solid. Um... You know, nothing wrong with it. Still pretty good. Just not as fantastic, not as, like, super hyper amazing. Uh, but the main character of Human Revolution and Mankind Divided is the last effect. And originally he was going to be the main character of Far Cry 3. But they decided to change that when... Human Revolution came out because like how are you gonna have 
uh, Adam Jensen in his other game. It's going to ruin everyone talking about Far Cry because no one's going to be able to hear Jason Brody. And that's why Jason Brody has uh, what I think are some questionable takes in Far Cry 3. Of course, these are things that I believe I've already discussed and that a lot of people know, but just in case they don't know, I like to fill people in. Also, you'll hear about it when I play Deus Ex. Um, and then the other bad game that people don't talk about is in between Human Revolution and Mankind Divided. There was a weird crossover, like, spin-off phone game where you played as another guy. I think it's called Icarus Effect. Um, and then there were a few more comics for uh, Mankind Divided. And I believe that's everything in Deus Ex. But because the new games that I actually want to play are prequels, we don't have to back up and play the old ones, which I like. <laughs> Do you, if by hunt, do you mean kill it? Because it's not really a hunt if I drag it all the way here. Because, like, you hunting it implies... You know, you're going to pace around in the forest, track its... You know, follow it and shit. Like, if I just kill it right now, does that count? Come on, you big ugly. Oh. When the mammoth runs, it kind of reminds me of the jump beat from um, the Drowning Pool song. Let the bodies hit the floor. Not the drum. The fucking. It's the. It's the. The the intro. The it's a guitar with a shitload of overdrive. You know. What? Ah. ah. Oh god. Uh, tag in, fellas. <laughs> I imagine that this big dog will help us kill this thing there, so gonna, you know, sub him in. Ah! Hit the wrong button. Please go away, big mammoth man. Hey, Katie's playing Rust. Oh, hey, we got it. Cool. Now let's carve this thing. Got 60 seconds before it disappears. All right. Cycle throwables. Doesn't appear that I can actually change what kind of weapon I have. Um, let's finish out the south side. Yeah, very glad to be getting back into Far Cry. I love this game. It might be my favorite Far Cry. I mean, it definitely is. Maybe game of the year 2016? Oh yeah, by now Hilux has come out. That's my game of the year 2015.
Nice. Nailed it. It's a Jagular. See, what I'm trying to do is... Because, like, I have one-handed clubs. But I don't know the button to switch to them. B? A hunt vision. Okay. M is map. Makes sense. Okay. I is inventory. That also makes sense. Oh, it's Y. Nope, Y is Ignite. Oh boy. Please stop tearing my flesh, I need it. I need this flesh to survive. I've only got so much of it. Now please help me, you big dumb bear. Shadow boxing with him. Now we can move on. To be frank, I really need, like, rare stones. Oh, cool, we got it. No, we didn't! What the hell? What the hell, man? Tag team each other instead of me, please. That would be nice. Why would nature conspire against man like this? I mean, I know why, but... Wish you could break it like uh, Team Fortress 2 and just have three hands up. There's so much jam on my fucking screen. Good bear. Yeah, currently my brother-in-law has the PS4, which means he also has the controllers. And I don't have wireless uh, set up on my computer. I don't think so, at least. I don't know if I do. And I don't know how to check. So I would need to go get... I would go into his room and get the wire. I don't even know if he's at work, but he might be. Taking back the wilds. Do I? I needed. I do, yeah. Nice. So, I don't really feel myself get- this is gonna be like a heavy- this sounds like it's a heavy conversation, but it really isn't. I don't really feel myself getting older. But the one thing that, like, 
I used to be like, yeah, that I felt really good about is that I used to be. Jesus, Irk. The hell, man. Winja. Kusawi Warha? Urki Yishwata Kwati Patashta. Ooh, Urki Yishwata Kwati Patashta. Winja. Ooh, Ooh, I Patash, Fu Pausi Khan. Ooh, I Patash. I don't know if that bird is good to fly, man. Shall we wap a tash walla deuce deuce? Urki San Patra. San Patra. San Pupau San Patra. Ta. Ta Pupu to koala. Ta Pupu to koala. Urki Sakwi. Urki Sakwi ha Patra Daha. Ta Urki Patash. To Urki Patash! Ooh, 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 ooh! Urki sec we have Patra Daha! To Urki Patash! To Urki Patash! That guy is devoted to his craft, you know? <laughs> that dude is clear for landing, man. So my is this gonna be how I unlock the wingsuit? This seems a little ahistorical. Like, the grappling hook is pushing it, and maybe the double bow as well. But those have been the only things that have been like... Hmm? It's not a fish I'm shooting at, is it? Oh, fuck. I jumped in to escape the eyes. Hours ago, I had a point. So, um... The thing that I used to be really good at that I'm not good at anymore is watching my radar and my character. Oh boy. Silence. I'm less good at that now. It saddens me a little bit, but I've also gotten a lot sexier as I've aged. So that's cool. God. Raven, tortoise, snowbird, and bite fish. <laughs> Get her. See if we have any bite fish in here. We do. This kind of feels like cheating. Whatever. Oh, it also doesn't count. Great. Fishy, fishy. There we go. Jesus. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I needed the head. I guess it must be like a quest exclusive thing. Makes a little more sense. That can't be good for you, Takar, you know? I was also a little anxious to record because I've been sick. If it sounds like I say that a lot. It, I, I don't. Shut up. I'm not sick all the time. 
Um, but also, I have to mention it any time it comes up in an episode. Like now, when I just got a pang across my skull. Got to figure out what button it is to craft things. Find me a raven bird, please. I would imagine birds would be good at hunting other birds, right? The kind of air control you only get from being a bird. Do I... Can I just get it like this? I would think that I would be able to... Hmm. Now, does that count for me marking the target? Because I would really like it. Perfect. So I've read a lot about this game just because I was... Uh, someone asked me about this, actually. I've read a lot about this game because I was curious about its world building. And so I actually know a lot about, like, the world, but I know less about the game. Um, if that makes any sense. Oops. Sorry, I'm just trying to nip around these rocks. So, I don't know if there is, like, a wingsuit equivalent in this game. If there is, I guess it would be this quest, though, right? Come on. If only I knew how to craft more arrows. How strange. Who goes there? Oh, it's a pipe fish. Of course it is. Now please leave me alone. My poor desiccated boy flesh. Apologies, I keep smacking my eyes into my, uh, camera. Oh yeah, I finally bought a webcam. Um, I'm not gonna do face cam on... I'm not just gonna introduce face cam on... Oh, fuck. I gotta go get this back. I'm not just gonna add face cam to videos that didn't already have them. What 
do I keep getting bee clusters? But yeah, I've, uh, I've done a lot of things that will permit me to evolve my craft if you'll pardon the, uh, you know, you'll pardon me being a dickhead. Still need badger skins, huh? Luckily, all those guys already have full things. Oh, here we go. It's Q. Of course it is. <sighs> I didn't hit one button, and it was one of the biggest one on here. Jeez, OP, it's man. All bee clusters. I hope this bird knows that he's part of the worst side quest of the game and that he's slowing down the pace of this LP. <laughs> Dramatically. I'm, I'm trying to swat a housefly here, you know? Like, at least with the eagles, they would come and attack me. Flew right into the sun. It's a classic swan princess shit. Fuck. All right. Prepare to meet your maker, kitty. Decided to take my aggressions out on the local wildlife. Cut to me screaming, why would nature conspire against man like this? <laughs> I'm running out of hardwood. This is a uh, honker bonker, donkey boinkies. Man, you fucker. Your beast cannot go up there. Why can't you fly, huh? Why can't your big fat bear body fly? I don't know why, but I've just had a flashback to a game that I played like in like 2012 or something. Um So you play as a bear. Okay, so it's kind of high concept, right? You play as a bear driving a car with me so far. <laughs> Just, it was weird at the time and it hasn't gotten any more logical. I just feel like I need to circle back around to the, you know, mission statement. You're a bear driving a car. You must drive your car into the river and smash some, like, fish, some salmon onto the, onto the front of it. And hit it into like a berry bush or like a tree and get the the bees that fall out of there and the other and the, the berry bush, the berries out of the berry bush. And you must do this before winter comes, which is in like four minutes. Yes. Oh yeah. 
satisfying. And where did it go? Where's my bird? Oh, I hit one earlier, apparently. Oh, God. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just had this, this like, Breath of the Wild-esque flashback where, like, my brain was like, And I was like, oh, my God. At one point in the past, I was a bear driving a car, waiting for winter, catching salmon. Alright. Eric, I got your shit. That dude probably got this role and he was like, okay. You got it, man. I will say whatever you want me to say. Let's take a look at his setup. He's got sticks tied to his arms that may or may not have things, feathers on them. It doesn't look like they do. Uh oh. Ooh. Saved it though. Come on, give me some bare stones. Just smear some shit on my arm, I guess. I think this is the most unobtrusive. Okay. I figured that if I was going to watch, it was going to get silly. Are you cool in there, man? Are you dead? Where is he? I hear him moaning in pain, but nothing else. Right, where to next then? Great Scar Bear. It's my favorite song. Scar Bear Fair. Let's grab this bonfire, huh? The Great Cliff Bonfire. And then I'll probably end the episode, since we're at a pretty good place for it. I'd like to record at least an hour for these, since this is a long game and I want to get through it with some expedience. Find a thing, you say. There's so many good changes made to 4 and 3 in this game. Though I feel like a lot of people just, like, would be like, yeah, but it's not different enough. But, like, I think you should just skip four. Oh, hey, guys. All right. Making it up the mountain. LaFance. Oh, fuck. This game is so good looking. 
It makes it still makes me feel really cool to know that I have a PC that can run crazy shit like this. You know, a lot of what I have, you know, played or been playing is stuff that is not particularly graphics intensive. And it's uh, thought provoking or interesting. Like, Lena's Inception was really cool. Hylix is so neat looking. Um, Far Cry 3 looked kind of shitty, and Halo Reach looked good, but it's a. I think it was a 10 year old game when I played it. I have no quarrel with you. Don't make me kill you, motherfuckers. We're doing this then. Now we chomp. Two chomps. Drop that next to him, so he gets his fill. Oh god. Why did- why did they have to start a fight, man? Fucking mammoths. Starting all over, huh? Story of my life. Mammoth walks in and just... Ruins my day. I actually do tell my brother that uh, when I was younger I hunted mammoths. Cause like, he has an idea that, um... Hey, stop it, you two. You know, cause he has an idea that like, you know, there were things like that back in the olden days. But he's just not a hundred percent sure on when that is. He just knows it was a really long time ago. So I often tell him that like when I was a kid I did like hunt woolly mammoths and ride on the backs of saber two tigers. Wow, you really got this dude, huh? Take the rest of it. Don't mind me. What's that belief where uh, you think that nothing existed before you? It's like, I think it's like solipsism or something. Solipsism? Um, my brother's so young, so he kind of has that. But he thinks that, like, it's just the modern world. He doesn't know when exactly that started. So yeah, I'll tell him that when dad was young, you know, our father... Because my brother's a damn sight younger than me. He's like 15 years younger than me. You know, I rode woolly mammoths and, you know, cave tigers and stuff. But my dad hunted dinosaurs and uh, TV was in black and white. He doesn't believe the last part, oddly enough. He's nearly eight now. I think he might be eight now, in fact. Um, depending on when this comes out. So, eventually it's going to stop working on him. Which just means that the lie has to get bigger and stupider. Because if it was that dumb, I wouldn't lie about it, right? That's the logic, I think. Like, it's so crazy, it couldn't possibly be fake. Nice. What is it, baby? My cat's in here. He probably wants to eat the things I have on my desk. I currently have some clay that's drying up here. Um, I recently started working with clay again. It's exhilarating. Uh, sure does get right under the nails, though. I will say. Oh, boy. Maybe that way? You're not my bear!
bastard. That's the energy I often strive to bring to everything. Like, I suffer carpal tunnel, and so I'll be like... Uh, I'll grab that later. Probably on my way out of here, in fact. I suffer carpal tunnel, so sometimes I'll just be like, Man, my hands are really hurting. Really gotta finish cutting it off. Nice. And I just say so many things like that with such vehemence so frequently that people have no idea if I'm lying or not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna beat this outpost, am I? You know what? That's fine. Hey everyone, I've been Alfred. This has been Far Cry Primal. Thanks for coming by. Um, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.